Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What is up? There's Gorgita D. How are you guys doing today? So today, we are manning on the field. We are on the go. We are women on the go. So I'm actually going to Ulta because I needed to go and buy some stuff to reamp on some things. Things I've gone through, things I need to repurchase. But I thought, wait, wait, let's go on a shopping spree. And let me bring you guys along with me on this journey of the shopping spree. And then we'll also like buy some new stuff, see if there's anything good. We can try them out together. Just see the vibes, see the new things. If there's anything new at Ulta, I would love to see it. The cool thing about Ulta is that for me, it, it gets me together because it has high-end stuff and it has drugstore stuff. I was like, what's the word? I'm not gonna say low-end because it's not low-end, but it just has like, you know, more inexpensive items as well. So I'm like, wait, I wanna try some new goodies. I love going through the aisles. Ulta will get me in there for hours. I'm not kidding. Ulta will get me together because they also have like a hair section and they also have like a fragrance section. They have it all. Why does this sound hella spawns? It's not. It's not. But Ulta, if you would like to, I'm here and I'm queer and it's Pride Month. Oh, this parking lot's very busy and I barely found this spot. And there's a Luna Grill very close and I will be getting Mediterranean today. But um, anyways, guys, that's how you guys gonna be. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it and you'll do with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like little shopping excursions with me, if you guys like the guys. This is the Gamerhood and you are not welcome. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get started on today's Ulta experience. Okay, so first product first, we have the, this is from the, I actually have much other brand. It just has a black girl sunscreen, make it matte, Little Mermaid, and I just watched Little Mermaid, and I have to support because I'm obsessed with Little Mermaid movie, and it just looks so cute. So I'm buying this sunscreen. Do we need anything from NYX? That's the real question. Oh, I've been wanting one of these so bad because I only have one shade. Oh, last one, it's meant for me. Okay, you guys already know I'm absolutely obsessed with the Essence Extreme Lasting Waterproof Pencil. This is in the shade Silky Nude. I'm literally obsessed with this color. I'm grabbing the Silky Nude and I'm grabbing the brown one. First, Espresso. Love these pencils. Okay, I'm looking at the Undone Beauty stuff because I do like the Undone Beauty. Well, I've used like the bronzer and a sick, or no, highlighter. I can't remember, something like that. I've used it before. These look so interesting. These, it's a lip to cheek palette. It's like three in one. But they're all a cream. I'm very confused by this. We're currently in Maybelline now. We have made it over to Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline. So I actually need another one of my Superstays. I use shade 115. No, no, I three. I needed you. And you're not here with us on this gorgeous day. I could use another one of my pink concealers as well. Oh, you guys. This Ulta is run out of house and home. No, I need the pink. I mean, I still have some of my other, other one left. I just want another one to like make sure I don't run out because I love that concealer. Oh, not one in sight, not one in sight. I'm tired of things going viral. I'm, I'm sick of it. Yeah, have you guys tried this brush? This is the Complexion Duo. It's one of my favorite brushes that Elf does. I'm gonna grab two. By the way, you guys, I ended up grabbing shade 125. So hopefully this will work for me. Question, do you guys like anything from the Ulta collection? I'm very curious. Is there anything that you guys like that I would I, I would like and I should try? Because I don't know what it is about Ulta collection, but there's nothing that entices me from here. I like the Sephora collection version more than the Ulta collection. But is there anything that you guys have used that you're like, bitch, this is sickening? Please tell me. So literally everyone and their mother has told me that the Juvia's Please shadows are incredible and amazing. So I'm gonna grab one of them, these palettes. This is the coffee shop. I think the palette color story is stunning. I really like it. So I'm gonna toss that back there. And uh, yeah, I'm, it's you guys, it's building. I also grabbed a bunch of Milani blushes because I'm really into like baked blushes. I'm trying to do some research on baked blushes right now. So can we get some new Revlon lippies? Kiss proof lipstick, no transfer with a built-in primer. Bitch, you know I have to get one. I grabbed one. I see Lana lips. I buy Lana lips. That's just who I am as a human being. I actually literally run out. <laughs> I always run out of these or I always lose them. I don't know what to do. Okay, so we're gonna get the watermelon one. I love that. This well, sure. Glossy balm, I don't want a glossy balm. I just want the regular balm. Lip water, I don't know what this is. Oh, you're coming out with me. Also shout out to the Ulta clearance section because they have a bunch of stuff on here that's in clearance. Like we have some Glam Glow, we got some Jack and Cosmetics. 
we have this brand, the Ritual De Fil, which is a really nice brand. MAC. I love a good clearance section. Okay, we have a new Morphe palette. This is the Magic Mirror. I didn't get this in PR. You guys, I don't know if I'm on the PR list anymore. Because <laughs> I've been seeing stuff here and I'm like, wait, when did this happen? When did they come out with bacon scent powders? A pink, a banana, and a translucent. Where did y'all come from? What's going on? <laughs> but the palette does look beautiful. It's kind of giving me... <gasps> Wait, do you know what this is actually giving me? This is giving me the Tati palette. The Tati palette. Do you remember that, you guys? That's kind of what it looks like to me. Do you know what else? I love these. I love the pillow bombs. I think they're so sickening. What is it? Coco Kiss? Nah. I'll do original. I, I love the watermelon one and the mango one. I'm out of mine, so... Too Faced will also get me together. I don't actually have this, you guys. They look cute. I think I might need to get one. Vanilla. I'm giving vanilla. SPF 30, that's lovely. These sticks look stunning. I wish they had Hot Fire here, which is Glamzilla's shade. I was actually supposed to get it in PR, but I never got it. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, y'all got it here so I can get it. Can I buy it? I don't see it, dude. Okay, I'll keep searching. Ooh, this looks lovely. Hella thick. I want to be hella thick. I mean, other than my cheeks, I want to be hella thick because I am, I am already thick there. Um, I am on Fenty Beauty's PR list, but I didn't get this one in PR. So I think I might need a snatch one. We're at MAC now. I got to get some MAC stuff. I haven't gotten some MAC stuff in a while. I haven't been to a MAC store in forever. So let's grab some goodies, just like some replens, some replenishes, you know? We're gonna get a MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And there you are. Okay, I need to re-up on my skin finishes. Where am I, where am I, where am I? I would go into medium light plus. And then deeper when I'm self tanned. <laughs> but I love these so freaking much. Do you have my shade? <laughs> I'm scared. Light plus, light plus, light plus, light plus. Let me see how light is light plus. That might be a little too light, actually. Hmm. Should I go into medium? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you guys, so we are back in the studio. Back in again with the studio. Ha. Huh? Mm -hmm. I'll have what she's having. You know what's funny about this shirt? This is like an old full coverage um, merch sample we got like a while ago. Uh, and I never tossed it out, I'm just wearing it. But if you guys are curious, we do have some full coverage merch. I'll leave a little link down below. We do have some full coverage merch. Me and Laura did full coverage merch with FanJoy. If you guys are interested, I will leave a link down below. But this is one of our old samples that we were kind of like playing with, toying with. So I thought I would just wear it for fun. Anyways, guys, so let's go ahead and go through our haul here. We have so much. I don't know where this video is going to take us. I don't know where we're going with this. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I know that something's starting right now. Watch and you'll see. The Little Mermaid can't be my personality forever. Like, it can't. It can't. Okay, so you guys, let's go and start off with one of our bags first. And we're going to dig in. I'm just going to pull out things. I'm going to show them off to you guys. And we're going to see what the hell we got on this Ulta haul experience. I ended up spending about $900. Oh, $874 to be exact. We're not going to talk about that now, are we? The thing is, I needed to re-up so many things. It's things like that. For example, this. I needed this. Look what happened to my, my old mirror. Yeah. And I've been using this to film my videos, you guys. Um, so I grabbed this iHome three color light modes, ultra thin mirror. Just, I honestly just needed something. It's ended up being like, what, like 40 bucks? I'm not sure, but I needed something to activate, to use. I actually have a photo shoot tomorrow and I'm gonna bring this with me because I need like a mirror to use shit with. And I'm actually glamming myself. My makeup artist I usually use for my photo shoots like for my own things, is out of town. This is so much smaller than I expected it to be. You guys. Um, my whole head won't even fit in this. Oh shit, don't, don't. What the hell? What the hell? I am a little annoyed, but we're gonna just have to kind of work with what we have currently and just help and pray. Should I return? Cause it's not what I expected, should I return it? I do like it though, like, and I feel like I could get some use out of it, especially traveling, like, it has a little light attached to it too, which I do enjoy. Or am I rationalizing? I'm not sure. I also grabbed this, as you, got, you guys saw it. I grabbed the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte Little Mermaid. And I grabbed it one to just support the Little Mermaid in general, cause I do want it to succeed and I want it to be amazing. And it was an SPF 45, so I was like, curious to see. Cause it says it's the Black Girl Sunscreen. So I was not sure if it, had like pigment to it where it would not work for me. But I thought, you know what, why not try it? Oh, it's gelatinous, completely translucent. 
That's awesome. Okay, cool. That can definitely work on me. It kind of feels silicone-y. As a silicone texture, it almost feels like it could be primer, actually. This is giving primer. It's matte. Oh my god, no wonder. Because it's a mattifying, make it matte. That makes sense. My skin's matte and it's mattifying and it's making my pores look smaller and it's a something. That makes sense. Okay, I'm actually really excited about that. I'm really excited. That was a win. You know what, guys? I've never tried this. This is the Revlon Oil Control little ball. I've never tried it. I always wanted to get it. I feel like this went viral so long ago. It has a little ball and it goes like, a, it's a pinch you. Oh my god. Okay, wait, so I want you guys to see something real quick. So my hand, you know, as a natural hand would, has a little bit of a sheen to it. But when I rolled this, it disappeared. I'm already like pretty matte on my face, but this is making me even more matte. This feels funny. It feels a little strange. It literally feels like there's, it's like chalk. It feels like chalk going on your skin. Fascinating. Interesting. I'm actually, I'm excited about this because I've seen such good things about it. I'm like, everyone that's used it says it's fire, so I'm like, girly. It's gonna be sickening. It's a volcanic rock. I went in on the mineral blushes. I grabbed six mineral blushes, three of them from Milani and three of them from MAC. You know, I'm like in my mineral blush era right now currently, and it's something I really wanna do more research on because I'm interested in doing mineral blushes for Lunar Beauty in the future. So I have a bunch of them, but I saw these there and I was like, let me buy them. The one I already have is Warm Soul. I grabbed another one for some foolish reason. But you know, mineralized blushes, what's cool about them is that they like melt into the skin more than let's say an average like regular blush would. It has like a little bit of a sheen to it. Oh my God, this feels like a, a literal dupe. That was not on purpose. The Milani Berry Amore and MAC Warm Soul. The tone is very similar. I bought six, which I shouldn't have done. <laughs> I could have just bought one each. But of course, since I do have a, um, a hoarding slash shopping problem, apparently I needed to buy six. Next, we grabbed the Too Faced Healthy Glow SPF 30 Tinted Skin Tint, Moisturizing Skin Tint. Let's grab it. I grabbed the shade Porcelain. Because listen, you guys, let me tell you something. Let me tell you the real tea real quick. The other shades were spooky and they seemed spooky and I was like, I'm, it's not gonna work for me. Like why, like I can't get this. I can't get it. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this tinted moisturizer and run it over and look up like porcelain. Wow, that's glowy. They were not kidding about the glow. Healthy glow, oh shit. Yeah, oh shit. That looks so stunning. Okay, um, I might put too much on this one, but like that actually looks so freaking pretty. It gives more coverage than I was expecting. It's giving me like medium coverage when I was low-key expecting like completely sheer coverage. It gives you good playtime because it's not fully full coverage. So you have, you know, a good amount of leniency when it comes to like actual color. Isn't that like actually gorge? Or are you guys blind? <laughs> I'm manic today. You know, it's why my mom just got here from out of town. Well, she lives in San Diego. So she just came over and she's here for today and tomorrow for the photo shoot tomorrow. And she wants to go see Little Mermaid, so I'm like, I'll go, I'll go watch it with you again. Like, let's go watch The Little Mermaid a second time. So now I'm going tonight, after I'm done filming, to watch The Little Mermaid again. Yet again. Yep. The Little Mermaid can't be my personality forever. Like, it can't. It can't. I feel like it really does just look like a healthy, glowing, very lightweight tinted moisturizer, just like it suggests. But it's more coverage than I was expecting. It's not as sheer as I thought. So if you're looking for a very lightweight, because it feels extremely lightweight, kind of tinted moisturizer that gives you a little bit more coverage than just like water, <laughs> this actually might be your journey, your fantasy. I like it. I like this a lot so far. This is obviously like a first impressions video. Like I'm not gonna be able to like try everything I grabbed here, but so far I'm like, Okay, I also grabbed, I had to get a re-up on this one, the Living Proof Dry Volume Texture Spray. I use this literally all the time. It's like one of the only sprays like that I feel genuinely gives me a little bit of a a, a lift, you know? A little, a little volume, a little kick, if you will. As a fine-haired girly, I need all the help I can get. So anything that will actually boost my volume in my hair and like actually give me some ooh, ah, ah, I'm obsessed. And I've tried so many, I literally tried a gazillion. Like if you, if you, if you ever need a recommendation, on volume texturizing spray for the hair, I've tried them all. This is one of the best ones I've ever used. This one's from Living Proof, dry volume and texture spray. Fire. I had to get a re-up on the Coconut Fix Plus. I like, ay, que rico. I, let me tell you something. 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 The Coconut Setting Spray Fix Plus for MAC, I just love Fix Plus 
Pixel Watch is gonna always be like one of those staple items for me that I'll always be obsessed with. I grabbed a, how much, this must have put me over the edge. How much was this Jumbo Philosophy Purity? $53 for your jumbo ass one step cleanser. What I like to use with this, I literally just run out of my purity for like my face brushes so and eye brushes i i like to wash my brushes with purity because it's very gentle so i do use this like on my face but i also use it for my brushes so i needed something big with the pump this is huge this is 22 ounces we grabbed some lanolips because lanolin and lanolips for me it's just chef's kiss like i can't even get over lanolips lanolips the original lana sticks so we grabbed the stick which i do like to, i do like to use it in the stick form with something easy something quick something chill like just throw in the pocket and go you know but i grabbed this this is the lip water which i actually have not tried so let's try it right now this is the lana lips lip water lip water it's kind of green it has a green tint to it does it glow in the dark it doesn't i like that it has a wand too ow jesus christ it's the sharpest brush i've ever used it literally does feel like extremely lightweight watery it feels, it feels watery. I mean, it definitely feels like I'm wearing something on my lips. It has like a minty sensation as well. It almost feels so lightweight that it's giving Vaseline, it's giving Vaz. It's lovely. Other than that freaking sharp freaking edge, it's all calmed down, okay? It's all calmed down. I grabbed the uh, Hangover RX, the Too Faced Pillow Tuck. I'm just obsessed with it. This is literally the last one in the store other than the chocolate one. I love these. I think they're fantastic and I like to like sleep with them. I'll put them on, go to bed, boom, wake up. Mis labios es muy bonito, which means my lips are really pretty in Spanish. For all you white bitches out there that can't speak Spanish like me. I grabbed the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium. This is more like a face powder. I wanted to get it for my actual carita, my face, in the shade Medium. I didn't know what shade to get, you guys. Like, it was tough. Like, I would never have thought I would get the shade Medium of anything. I'm giving Light, I'm giving Translucent, I'm giving Casper. So I would never think I would get Medium anything. So I'm gonna take some of this Medium. I'm actually going to set my face. What do we think? Is it giving my tone or is it a little bit deeper? Actually, you know what? It's deeper than I thought it was going to be. So I just like mineralized powders in general. I think they just really sit beautifully on the skin. But Sephora brand, actual Sephora brand has a, a pretty good dupe for MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's like their Micro Smooth Powder. And I do feel like it's a very comparable dupe, much more inexpensive. But I still will say I do, I think, prefer the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes because I just can never, I can never not prefer them because they're MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. It's like conique. And just the effect is so beautiful on the skin. Like it's powdered and I'm set, but it still gives me like a lifelike finish. I don't know how to describe it. It's alive, you know? It's alive. Moving right along. We're still in our first bag, by the way. Yeah. Okay, moving right along, you guys. We have the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. I did grab a bunch of MAC goodies because I just haven't gotten stuff from MAC in so long. And, like, they do have staples that I really do enjoy. I'm not, like, necessarily, like, a MAC-aholic like I once was. Like, back in the day, baby, if you were a MAC girly, you were the girly. Ten years ago, if you worked at MAC, you were iconic. Bitch, I work at MAC. Like, you couldn't tell me nothing. Like, literally not a word. So, I grabbed MAC Painterly Paint Pot in the shade Painterly, which is like their most like flesh tone kind of color. I'm gonna put a little bit on the eye just so you guys can see what it looks like. So basically what this product is, it's a, it's actually a cream shadow, but a lot of people use it as a eyeshadow base because it neutralizes your eye. Look at this, watch, like, so you guys know, I have a LIGO on my eyelids, so I have a lot of discoloration there now, or missing pigment completely. This looks like a, my flesh now, it's giving flesh tone. It's giving flesh jack, it's giving flesh light. Sometimes my intrusive thoughts do in fact win and I have to apologize for that. But look at that. Compared to this eye, it just, this just looks like even and true and gorge. And then this eye is like, oh hey. Oh, that's why I stopped using it. I stopped using it because it might dry it out. Yeah. Hello, where did it go? Where did my discoloration go? So it's a cream shadow, but people use them as primer because it has like a nice lasting power. Maybe they don't move. Also, recently I saw a TikTok and uh, he was talking about like how if you have like a nose that rejects makeup or looks kind of like weird and oily and like fucked up, you can use a paint pot or like a cream shadow that's long lasting as your primer there. And it's gonna like make a really huge effect. I also grabbed the Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control from MAC. I heard this was fire. I'm not kidding you. Every person that's used this has said, this is incredible, this is amazing, this is show-stopping, this is wonderful. Uh, this is the mattifying 12-hour shine control primer for like the T-zone and for your pores. Like if you are, if you have large pores, if you are really oily and you need something to like literally control your shine, this product is supposed to be like show-stopping, life-changing, 
almost life altering, I would say even. Whenever I go out next, I'm actually gonna put my makeup on for real and like go out like, you know, give them the ooh ah ah sensation. I will try it. I grabbed lip liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Mocha. Shade Mocha, it just looked like a beautiful shade and I had to try it. It's giving Mocha Choco Latte Ya Ya. Last three from this bag, I grabbed a pair of Kiss Lashes in the style Preta Porter. I haven't seen a lash like this sickening looking at the drugstore in a long time. So I'm like, I had to grab Miss Lashy. And then speaking of lashes, I grabbed the uh, Hella Thick from Fenty. I am on Fenty's PR list, I swear. I swear. But I don't think I ever got this in the mail because I never, I could never find it. I don't know where it's at. Imagine I have it fully in PR and it's dug in like my PR section. Like I would just never see it. I don't think I do have it because I've never, I just haven't seen it. So I end up grabbing Miss Hella Thick because like I want to be Hella Thick. So it's supposed to be a thickening pair of mascara. A pair of mascara, Manny, really. <laughs> so it's a brush brush. It's a brush brush. Bristles, not silicone, I believe. Oh, it does a great job of separating. I do feel like it's thickening. You guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Am I getting it everywhere? Kind of, but it's not depositing too much. I'm sure my lashes are gonna fall and it's gonna be like, you know, really sad and we're all gonna say a prayer for my lashes because they're about to sink, but they really did that, you guys. It's really thickening. Actually, it's hella thick. It's I feel like it's lengthening and volumizing. I feel like if there's things here that I don't like, I will end up just returning. Like, I'm not gonna keep everything. Like, I don't wanna keep everything. Like, I don't wanna be a complete hoarder. It's hard for me because I am a hoarder naturally, but I don't wanna be. The Little Mermaid can't be my personality forever. Like, it can't, it can't. Okay, you guys, and last but not least, you guys, we have this palette here from this bag, the Coffee Shop palette from Juvia's Place. Everyone told me that Juvia's Place shadows are incredible, iconic, wonderful show shopping. So I grabbed this palette because it just looked really cute and I like the color story. These look beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So let me go ahead and unbox this bag first and then we'll go from there. I got another pair of lashes. I got several. These are the Ardell 3D Faux Mink Pair in the style 858. Is that what it is? I'm not exactly sure, but it says 858 and I just like this style. I've worn it before and I thought they looked really good. And I think they look good on my eye shape as well. It gives me that flare. And it's like four pairs for like 15 bucks. And I genuinely enjoy it. So I had to grab a little lashy. Two brushes from Elf. I love these brushes. I think that like they're a dupe for like the fucking it ones. A little concealer sign. That's sick. So I ended up grabbing one of these because like honestly they are slay and I already have one. So I knew I was gonna like them. So I grabbed two. Just to re-up, you know? See that this is part of my hoarderness where I'm like, I didn't need to, but did I get them? I did. Next, foundation. We grabbed the Super Stay. I had to get it, you guys. I had to. This is in the shade, what is this? 125 nude beige. I'm hoping and praying this will be like kind of close to me. Or I can make it work. I'm already powdered and stuff, but I'm just gonna put like a little swatchy poo. That's literally perfect. Is that not my actual skin tone? Like what the hell? Oh, cause it's powdered with the medium on top. Maybe that's why, but I feel like it looks really good. You're staying here. Now listen, I saw that there's a dewy coconut setting mist from Elf. And I just don't remember ever using it or seeing it. You guys, should I return the MAC one? Oh, new bottle scene formula. Maybe that's why I don't recognize this. But I feel like I do. Inception, I'm having a mandala effect. I think I like this more. I grabbed this product, which is from the brand Undone Beauty. This is the lip, lip to cheek palette. And apparently, okay, this is what gagged me. This is what truly gagged me. This is supposed to be a three layered tiered cream. It goes from sheer to like medium coverage to full coverage all in one, which I was like, what? So let's see if it's really true. So we have the top layer, it's supposed to be sheer, which is it's getting sheer. Middle layer, more pigmented, and then bottom layer is supposed to be the most pigmented. Bitch, it's true. It's fucking true. It's obviously the same color, but there's one is more sheer and one's more pigmented. So, um, I don't. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. I'm gonna take the the middle and bottom one. Do you think this is a practical product? Do you, or do you think it should just all be one? Like, do you think it should all be one actual like tone? I don't feel like I need three versions of the same color when it comes to like a cream product. What do you guys think? I love the color of this, by the way. This is a, such a beautiful baby doll pink. This is in the shade Rosy. Wow, the color is absolutely 
captivating, actually. I'm kind of obsessed with this color. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use it. I think it's beautiful and I think the effect is stunning. I love the color. Everything about it actually is a sleigh. I'm just more so confused about the actual like premise of it, like a three in one. I grabbed some Aquaphor lip balms. I like these when like my lips are feeling drier uh, and I need like a more of like an overnight lip mask vibes. Using these, they're fantastic. I really like them. Ooh, we have a little Kylie Skin Lip Oil. I like lip oils, I do in general. Like, I'm always into trying new lip oils. I have my own lip oil with Lunar Beauty. When it comes to like being the best curator or brand owner, founder, CEO, you know, developer, I have to use so many types of things to feel like I get a good feel of things. You know, Does that, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I, before I created the lip oils, I would use tons of lip oils and just try them out, see what I thought I liked, see what I didn't like. So when I'm creating my own thing, I'm like, maybe I've tried 30,000. <laughs> I tried it all, you know? Like I need that for myself. This feels really nice, it's very thin. Very, 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 very thin. I, I do like it. It's just a different consistency that I'm used to. I got another line of lips. <laughs> so we have two pencils from Essence. I grabbed the brown and the nude. I love the nude pencil, I think it's amazing. It's super pigmented and long lasting, long wear. So I grabbed the brown as well. They're fucking incredible. Two more lip pencils. I grabbed MAC and the shade Strip Down, which is another classic MAC lip liner. Again, I'm like, I love lip liners. I like to use lip liners. I like to just experiment with lip liners. I obviously have been using lip liners forever and now I have lip liners with Lunar Beauty. I just always wanna like know more. If that makes sense, like, I always just want to experiment and know more and like just keep gaining knowledge of things. And then I grabbed this shade. This is actually a recommendation from my friend D, and he was saying you should you should get the Lux Liner Espresso from Jibia's Place. Okay, so I don't have the deepest complexion, as you guys as were aware. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to with my own lip liners. I was like, okay, let me do more research on like super deep complexion. Um, lip liners that like brown ones neutral ones that could work on deeper complexions So he's like you should try this one out and just see what you think see of the colors I'm like, okay, cool grabbed it to try it out and let me show you guys what this is a lip liner. Look how gorgeously deep that is It's almost black almost but it's not quite there. It's a deep 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 brown. It's very similar to that uh, essence one actually Kind of a gag, absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to get that for research purposes for my own self, for my own knowledge and my own fucking know-how, you know? Next, you guys, two more products. Boom, Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I grabbed the shade Silk. So I was gonna get cream and I always wear cream. That's like my normal color. But I saw Silk and I swatched Silk and I thought that was such a pretty shade that I'm like, I'm just gonna get Silk this time and see how I like it. I love this concealer, it's fantastic. Um, it's one of my favorite concealers ever. And then I also grabbed the Revlon Colorstay Suede Inks in the shade Gut Instinct, which I actually never got to see or swatch. This is what it looks like. These will be transfer proof, complete transfer proof. Creamy, oh, it kind of has like a, a soft matte finish too. More matte than I was expecting. Okay, we'll try that one too. Let me try Silk real quick. I'm kind of curious about this Silk here. I feel like this shade still works absolutely gorgeously for me. More neutral than Cream. Cream was more pink. This is more neutral. You guys, I think my other one's expired. When I put it on, my eyes kind of start to burn. And I'm not talking like my skin, I'm talking about like the aroma it starts to burn my eye, actual eye itself. And it starts to like hurt. I could go a little bit lighter, but Silk is stunning and I'm glad I got it. Let's do the lip. I want to do Miss New Mocha Lip Liner with Revlon just to see the color combination. Okay, Mocha is a very pretty mocha. <laughs> color wise, I would say it's a brown rose. Lovely, okay. Now let's try this Revlon Lippy. I need, I'm very intrigued by her. Very intrigued by her. It's supposed to be transfer proof. Goes on nice. It's more on the, not sheer, sheer side, but it's definitely not like full pigment. See how it's like kind of like a demi matte or immediately, like it's already matte. We're gonna let that do its thing and we'll see that what happens. Okay, let's play with this. I'm curious about Miss Coffee Shop. Okay, just they just look beautiful. The shades look stunning. I wanted to kind of go in and see the T, the 411. Let's just dip in. I'm not gonna like do some crazy extravagant look, like nothing crazy. I just wanna play with like new makeup. That's honestly what I wanna do today. I just wanna play with makeup and just see what I think me first impressions. Even if I look like crazy, I don't even care. Nice, nice, nice pigmentation to it, but not overbearing pigmentation. Like it's a nice, they're pigmented, but they are blending well. Sometimes when I'm putting ABH ones on, like they're gorgeous and I love them, but they can be a little intense immediately because they're so loaded with pigment. This one, loaded with pigment, but blend easy. Let's grab a darker shade. Let's drop this chocolatey brown. Damn, that's pigmented too. Ho oh, oh. ho! 
Whoa. Ay, que rica. I love it. You guys, I love them. Do we do a shimmer? Yeah, let's do one of the shimmers. I would go in with this, this like, kind of coolish gold, this cool tone, taupey gold. They're a drier shimmer. They're not necessarily wet. They're just a drier formula. More of a shimmer, not necessarily like a metallic, more of a sheen. Do you guys see that? When it comes to the shimmers, like I enjoy shimmers that are a little bit more pop than this. So shimmer wise, I'm not as obsessed, but the mattes, I am obsessed. When I say I'm not as obsessed with the shimmers, it's because I like something more metallic on my eye. If you're the kind of girly who wants something more soft and gives like a subtle wash of a sheen, like a little like, oh, what the hell is that? That is this fantasy. Like that's literally exactly what you're gonna get with this. I just prefer something a little bit more bold and intense on my lid if I'm doing something glittery. Like I want it to be like, oh, that's glitter. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So that's what that side looks like. I think that looks lovely. Should we do like more cooler tones on this side? Just to see. Actually, are, wait, what? There's like more cool tone like shimmers, but not necessarily mattes. Okay, we're gonna grab this cool tone kind of grayish. Oh, that's some. Um... That's a lot of color. The mattes are sickening. They're absolutely sickening. I might not be as obsessed with like the shimmers necessarily, but the mattes are lovely. It's all the same shade. I'm just like deepening it on the outer corner. And look how deep it can get. It can like sheer out. You can get real deep. <laughs> I'm gonna take that more metallic shimmer and try that. Oh, see that's, that's more like it. Oh, the lip should be dry now, right? It's fully matte by the way. Fully matte. Oh my God, I think only the lip liner transferred. You see how the, only the outline of my lips is transferring? But the gag is, is like, yeah, it's matte, but it's not uncomfortably matte. Where I'm like, you got me, gal. <laughs> These actually remind me of like the, the new She Glam ones. Like the, the She Glam lipsticks and that same like kind of component, they're very similar. Formulation wise, it feels the same. They don't transfer the same, like it's just like that. To finish off the video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Miss Sweet Enough from MAC onto the cheeks, just to see if I am sweet enough. This is our mineral blush. I just wanna see if it does anything. Sure did, sure did. Whoa, oh, I just love the effect. <sighs> I look crazy, like with my eye, with one mascara on. That was what the journey called for, I feel, personally in today's video. And we made it, you know, through the wilderness. I actually wanna try this really quickly. The Essence Brown Liner. That might be the creamiest liner I've ever failed. These Essence liners, if you guys haven't tried them, why haven't you? Because they're so inexpensive and they're so pigmented and so good, so blendable, so easy to work with. Like overall, I'm blown away by these. Wow. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, wait. I need to show you guys something. <laughs> okay, you guys, so shout out to Dossier, because I just want to quickly shout them out. Me and Laura were on Times Square, an ad of us with Dossier for full coverage, just like kind of promoting the fragrances. I thought it was so freaking cool. Dossier is already a brand that I freaking love and use. And if you guys watched like a video of mine like months ago, I did a video like talking about things like I'm obsessed with and love, like 10 things I'll always repurchase or something. And I included Dossier fragrances in that and they saw that and they're like, we'd love to work with you in some capacity. So me and Laura ended up becoming like, you know, one of the faces of Dossier on full coverage for Times Square. It was crazy. But um, I just wanna shout them out. I freaking love them. This is the one I go through the most. It's Ambry Saffron. This is my second bottle of it. I'm absolutely obsessed with Ambry Saffron. It's so good. I'm gonna leave you guys a link down below if you guys wanna check out Miss Dossier. They're incredible. They are like basically high-end fragrances at an affordable price point. They're insane. Like they're absolutely incredible. I'm gonna leave a link down below. But shout out to Dossier for having us in Times Square. It was insane, 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 insane. Truly that is it for today's video. I had so much fun just sitting here playing with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just wanna do a little haul and then like play. A haul and play, if you will, since things here that I don't have or don't try or have never used. Um, but I did really enjoy it and I did have a lot of fun filming this and I hope you guys had fun watching it. I really did. Like I don't actually plan on returning many things, maybe like two things. I'm gonna keep it all. So I guess that 900 was spent and it will be continued to be spent. I don't usually have to film these often because I have stuff. These are just like revamps, things I have to have uh, that I already use because I just enjoy them so much. So um, I kind of want to do a full face of Undone. What do you guys think about that? This is like at Ulta. Undone Beauty, it's like more of a drugstore brand, not as expensive, but I'm impressed. 
And I've been impressed with them before, so I do, I'm intrigued, and I kind of want to do a full face. Would love to film it. Let me know if you'd be down to watch it. Yeah, that's it for today's video. Have a great some night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. I love you. Let me see. Oh, shit. Híjole de tu madre. Mira. Where are you? Gnarls Barkley. Thank <laughs> you.